If your energy bills were sky high this summer, you're not alone. Power needed across this state. It's why New Jersey lawmakers came together for a hearing to learn why and to discuss how to solve it. Among those testifying, AARP New Jersey, representing the voices of elderly residents living on fixed incomes. Folks maybe can't afford as much food as they need, cut back on medications. We've heard of folks who have closed off parts of their homes so that they don't have to cool it or heat it. A number of utility companies, including PSE&G and JCPNL, testified before the Assembly Telecommunications and Utilities Committee on Wednesday. Largely, they point to a historically hot summer and an increase in energy rates as part of the culprit. They say they've offered assistance to their customers who've struggled to pay their bills. But there's more to the issue. We need to we need to rethink our energy master plan. As grid operators testify that New Jersey has retired some older energy resources, there's been a decrease in energy generation. Right now we're only generating 75% of what we utilize. And then we spoke today about the increase in demand, whether it's AI data centers, electric vehicle charging stations, moving to heat pumps, that's all electric. So we need more generation to provide with that. Numerous uh, witnesses said we need more generation. Uh, and we need more reliable generation. So, you know, uh, I think that's where we need to go. While lawmakers say it could be a long road to finding energy solutions, advocates testified that the public needs to be more educated on bill assistance programs that are available to those who qualify. They also suggested creating a program that prevents utility shutoffs in the summer months, much like a current state program that prevents utility shutoffs in the winter months. In the State House in Trenton, Jim Vassell, PIX11 News.